Good morning. This lesson is for any student that wants to use it, but before I get started, I want to say I hope that everyone's doing all right out there. I'm not sure I'm going to title this lesson, but I'm going to title it how I title it in the title. But what I am sure of is my one goal for the day, and it's to set up exponential equations. Now, this lesson is made for a student that I'm tutoring, and I didn't get a chance to go over this. Uh, we ran out of time, so I'm making this very quick, short lesson to help that student, and whoever else needs it, please use this. All right, there's five rules that we need to know in order to set up exponential equations. The first rule is a to the power m times a to the power n equals a to the power m plus n. That's our first rule. The second rule is a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. Our third rule is going to be a to the m power raised to the n power, and that's equal to a to the power m times n. And our last rule, which I'm not going to do on this one, but you potentially could have problems like this in your assignment, would be a number times a fraction, and that is equal to that number divided by that denominator. Our fifth rule, which we're going to use to solve the exponential equations, is going to be a to the power x equals a to the power y. Here I have equal bases. So what that means is my exponents must be equal. All right, the steps. First, we're going to factor to equal bases, so we get to step five. Second, we're going to use, use rules one through four to combine the bases because we want one base on each side of the equal sign. And finally, we're going to use rule five to solve. I have two examples that I'd like to do. Um, and just for simplicity, I already factored the problems down because these are not the same bases. I need them to be the same bases. So let's go ahead and use the pre-factored problems. But uh, again, uh, just follow these steps and you should be okay. 8 turns, in two to the, turns into 2 to the third power raised to the power x. And 64 turns into 2 to the sixth power. I can now use rule three because I have parentheses, so t uh, this becomes two to the power of three times x. And that's equal to two to the power of six. So now I have equal bases, and I use rules two through four to, uh, to combine my bases. And now I'm going to use rule five, which says if I have equal bases, the exponents must be equal. Oh. So now I get 3x is equal to 6, divide out the 3. So my solution to the first problem is going to be x is equal to 2. It's a little bit crowded. I'm using the whiteboard for the class I'm subbing, so it's a little bit, little bit packed. All right, but again, hopefully this makes sense on how I went through those three steps. The second example I'd like to use, here again, I pre-factored some of the numbers, and I have, I'm going to use a number from the previous, uh, previous problem. So 4 is going to turn into 2 to the power 2 raised to the x power. 8 is going to turn into 2 to the power 3 to the x power. And 32 is going to turn into 2 to the power 5. Now remember, I need to uh, use now, I'm sorry, I factored to equal bases. Now I need to use rules 1 through 4 to combine bases. Because again, we only want one base on each side of this. So uh, I'm going to use rule 3 twice. So now I get 2, let's put an equal sign. Uh, I get 2 to the power 2x divided by 2 to the power 3x, and that's equal to 2 to the fifth power. I'm going to now use rule number 2. And again, I'm sorry about the limited space, but I don't want to erase anything that the, that the the teacher uses uh, on the whiteboard. So I get 2 to the power 2x minus 3x, and that's equal to 2 to the power 5. 2x minus 3x is uh, negative 1x, so 2 to the negative 1x is equal to 2 to the power 5. I have now got to step 5, and so now I can use step 5, or rule 5, and I get negative 1x is equal to 5, divide up that negative 1, and I get x is equal to negative 5. So I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson here. Hopefully this helps and, and clarifies how to set up exponential equations to solve. You really only need to use those four rules. And then once we get to 
equal bases you can imply, implement rule five. So again, I'm gonna end it here. I hope everyone's doing all right out there. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>